Today we're going to make a self-portrait with a bubble in our mouth. First thing you'll need is a piece of paper and pencil. We're going to sketch out the shape of our head first, which looks like an upside down egg shape. Your skull is big on the top and then your chin gets smaller at the bottom. Start out by sketching the shape of your head. Sketching means drawing lightly, making several lines until you get the right line made. Once you get the right lines made, darken the lines that you want to keep and erase the lines that you want to get rid of. Make sure you draw your head nice and big in the middle of your paper. I don't want to see any tiny heads. It should also almost be about the size of your real head. Once you've darkened your lines, the next thing to do is draw your eyes. Now your eyes don't need to be drawn on your forehead. They need to be drawn on the middle of your face. So I use my pencil to find the middle of my face. Your eyeballs are also the shape of a football or a lemon. First thing you do is draw a smile or a frowny face for the top of the eye and a smile for the bottom of the eye. Draw the same shape as best you can to the same size and shape as the first eye on the other side of your face. Draw a shape for your nose. I did an L shape, but there's other shapes that you can decide from later on. I drew a simple smile for my mouth. When I draw my eyes, I make sure that I only show part of the iris. The iris is the colored part of your eye. The pupil is the black part. You don't see the full iris in your eye. It would look funny. So only draw part of your iris. Add some eyelashes. And I'll be honest, I forgot to add eyebrows to this portrait. I added them later on, but in my video here, I forgot to add eyebrows. So add eyebrows to your portrait as well. Next, I drew some hair. When you draw your hair, it covers part of your forehead. Whether your hairline comes down really low or you have hair that covers part of your face like bangs. I drew my hair covering part of my head. I then drew hair coming up over my head. Because my hair is not wet, it actually sticks up over my scalp. If your hair was wet, it would be stuck to your head. But since my hair is not wet, your hair goes above your skull and your hairline is below your skull. So you get to erase the top part of your head that you drew. You don't see your top of your head through your hair, so why would you draw it? I darken all of my lines because I think I like the way they are. I add some ears on each side of my head. And then I add a neck. When I draw my neck, I make sure it's not too skinny. You want to make sure your neck will support your head. You don't want your head to tip over. So draw a nice thick neck, a line for where your shirt and your neck meet, and then draw your shoulders going straight out and then down to the, off the bottom of your paper. I also drew two lines for my armpits. Now, I drew a girl portrait first. This next picture that I draw, I traced the same exact face and I drew male hair. Uh, boy hair is a lot shorter than girl's hair most of the time, so I drew the hair shorter than I did my girl's portrait hair. When I drew the boy's hair, it's kind of the same, it just stops at the ears. So I draw my ears first on each side of my head. I draw my boy hairline, which is where the hair and my skin meet on the forehead. Oh, first I drew my eyebrows. I remembered on this one. Now I draw my hairline where the hair meets my head. And I did the same thing I did with the girl uh, drawing. I drew hair above my head as well. But instead of going to my shoulders, it stops at the ears. I then erase the scalp that I originally drew with the shape of my head. 
Once I got rid of that, I decided I wanted to show another type of hairstyle, so I decided to draw a spiky hairstyle. Everybody's hairstyle is different. You decide which hairstyle you want your portrait to have. Try and match your actual hair the best that you can. Sometimes it takes multiple attempts to get it the way you want it to. If you draw lightly, then you can erase your lines easier. So make sure you draw lightly. And don't forget to finish your drawing by adding a neck and shoulders. Once you've complete, completed drawing your portrait, your teacher might want to check it before you start using your Sharpie. Sometimes it's easy to forget to add ears or a nose, so make sure you check with your teacher before you start doing the Sharpie part. Trace everything that you drew in pencil with your Sharpie. When you're done tracing with Sharpie, take a big eraser or the eraser at the end of your pencil and erase any lines that you may have accidentally missed. Next, we're going to use a crayon to color our eyes. If we use paint to color our eyes, it looks kind of creepy. So we're going to use crayon to color in your eye color. You're then going to use paint to paint over all of the skin, which means your skin is your ears, your neck, and your face. Don't worry about covering up all of the Sharpie that's on your face. We'll, paint, we'll draw over that later with a crayon to make it show up again. Once you've painted your skin color, pick a color for your hair, my hair is dark brown, and paint your hair. Once you're finished painting your hair, you need to get uh, temper cakes and paint your clothes. Paint them whatever color you want them to be. When you're using temper cakes, it's different than using liquid tempera paint. You have to make sure that you get your brush wet first and you swirl your brush around in the paint. The more you swirl, the darker your color will be. The less you swirl, the lighter your color will be. When you're done painting your clothes, we're going to paint the background. Ask your teacher how she would like you to paint your background. I decided to paint bubbles in my background since my picture is all about bubbles. I did circles of cool colors, blue, green, and purple. Once your painting is completely dry, you're ready to retrace the features of your face. Take a black crayon 
and retrace everything that is on your face, including your eyes, your eyebrows, your ears, your nose, your mouth, and your chin. If you want to draw anything on your face, you can and sign your name.